Rena Boston is picking up her daughter from daycare. Figuring out the logistics is part of her daily routine. Sometimes my husband picks her up um, and we just swap off. And sometimes if we need help from grandparents, they'll help. She has a full-time job, so does her husband. They have young kids, so daycare is essential. I think we spend about $1,000 a month, maybe a little over that for daycare expenses. She says that's just one child. Her family has to make sacrifices to make it work, cutting back on other expenses and skipping on vacations. Can you climb in? Rena knows she's not alone. Families across the country face the same issues, rising costs of child care, and she wants to see the presidential candidates address the issue head on. The struggle is real, and we really need to invest so that people can contribute to the economy in the ways that they want to provide for their families. Nearly 68% of children in the U.S. have all available parents in the workforce, according to the Center for American Progress. But lack of access to affordable care can lead to parents working fewer hours, less demanding roles, or leaving the workforce entirely. You know, we're seeing moms and families across the country having to make tough decisions. We're seeing parents having to pay, you know, the equivalent of rent or a mortgage and child care costs every month. Rena is also the co-founder of the Chamber of Mothers, an organization that advocates for affordable child care and paid leave, both locally and on the national level. We really are advocating for both candidates to have something more than concepts of a plan, to really come up with something robust that they can share with the American people. Uh, child care is a kitchen table issue. Very few details have been provided by either candidate. Democratic presidential candidate Kamala Harris has mentioned expanding the child care tax credit by as much as $3,600. Families of newborns can get upwards of $6,000 in the child's first year. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump has also mentioned expanding the tax credit. During his presidency, he did expand the child tax credit and establish paid leave for federal employees, but has mentioned little about what he would do in a second term. The Biden administration did try and do something with it, um, with Build Back Better, so we know that the plans are there. Um, I just am ready for the candidates on both sides to have a robust plan. Rena says families are struggling. The problem needs to be addressed now before the crisis gets worse. Jeff Van Sant, Spectrum News.